Hi, I'm Lee Herbert from CapturingPassion.com and this is a quick tip to show you how to remove things on a black background in Final Cut Pro 10. Now you can see in this image here, I've got a little bit of flare coming in from my hair light. Now obviously if the subject moves in front of that, cloning it, you'd have to track it, all that kind of stuff, but I normally stay pretty much in the middle of the frame. So to get rid of that, the easiest way for me is to just use the color corrector. So I'm going to hit Command 6 to bring up my color correction tools and then I'm going to pull my exposure down until I can't see the hair light anymore. Now obviously that's pulled the exposure down on everything and that's not what I want. So to compensate for that I'm going to come in and add a shape mask and then apply that color correction simply to the area with the flare. Now the problem is with that is when I tick off of that you can see there's still a little bit, I don't know if you can see that on your screen, there's a little bit of sort of difference between the black of the exposure and the black of the change. So what I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to go back and I'm going to pull the exposure up just about sort of where I can't see it and then come into the shape mask and make the feather a lot wider so there's less of a contrast between that and that is a quick and easy way to remove flare on a black background in Final Cut Pro 10 using the color crushing tool. For more tips and tricks, check out our website, capturingpassion.com, and we'll uh, catch you next time.